Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about one thing and you guys already know exactly what we are going to be discussing because you guys have already seen the YouTube title. You guys have already seen what's been happening in the media. You guys have seen the official statement coming from Barcelona and look in their most previous game, they have lost against Rayo Vallecano 1-0 and ever since that loss, things have been going on fire. And now ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here. We are finally in this position, right? With Barcelona, with the club, with the fans to officially say that that Ronald Koeman has been officially sacked. Ronald Koeman will no longer be the coach of FC Barcelona moving forward. There were there were many sources basically saying that he was going to get sacked, that he was going to be leaving, and then a couple of minutes or an hour later, Barcelona confirmed that he is going to be leaving, that he is officially sacked. And let me tell you guys, this should have been done weeks ago. Like, I have been wanting to see this moment happen since the day we lost against Bayern Munich 3-0. Like, what took so long? What made Barcelona and Joan Laporta take so long in order to find realize that Kuman is not the coach for Barcelona. Like, look, we saw them lose against Bayern 3-0. We saw them lose against Benfica 3-0. We saw them lose against Atletico Madrid 2-0. Now, why is that the case? It is because Barcelona on the field, within those matches, they were playing tremendously bad. Like, they were playing so bad. The identity, the model, the formations, the lineups, the attitude, the approach, all of that was horrible. And this was only going to lead towards one thing, and that was that Barcelona were going to see the Europa League. That Barcelona was going to be in 7th to 8th place place by the time we hit May 2022. And so Joan Laporta had to react quick and we have finally seen him react quick immediately after that loss against Rayo Vallecano, Joan Laporta made the big step. This is actually the first big step that Joan Laporta is taking to rebuild Barcelona. Like yes, has he sold Messi? Yes, has he sold Griezmann? Yes, has he brought in brand new players? Yes, he has done all of that. But the biggest step that he has taken so far during his presidency with Barcelona, it is the sacking of Ronald Koeman. And we knew this way long ago. We knew that Ronald Koeman had to be sacked and leave Barcelona ever since that match against Bayern Munich because the fact that Barcelona had to sit back and act like they were Atletico Madrid and defend their way into the 90th minute, that was so embarrassing. It was a disgrace. Like, Ronald Koeman was so afraid to use the players that he had in his disposal and maximize these players. But now look, it's the past, right? I don't want to talk about this anymore because we have talked about this enough. Let's start to move forward, right? Because this is a time for us, this community, Barca Media, Barcelona, every squad player within this club we can finally look forward. We can finally see that we have something going for us, that we are making changes. I think that every Barcelona fan here that is actually listening to me within this channel, I want you guys to realize that we should be looking for better times, that there is going to be better times. Am I saying that Barcelona is going to be a dominating team in about six to seven months? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying any of that. What I'm saying is that Barcelona are going to be greatly improving to what we once were a couple of hours ago. And so Joan Laporta did inform Ronald Koeman in that plane flight that he was going to get sacked, he was going to be dismissed and so you can get a sense that the movement throughout this whole process is very fast like to dismiss Ronald Koeman that quickly to say that this is going to be our brand new coach in about a couple of hours all of this is moving very fast but here's the thing right and this is going to be the biggest question that I do want to ask for today's video and that is going to be this, now that we know that Koeman is gone, now that he's like, like it is official, like he is no longer going to be the coach of Barcelona, now that we know that he is gone, who is going to be the next manager. And I think that many of us do know by now who that main candidate is and who has the biggest opportunity to finally coach Barcelona. We have been talking about this in the past 100 million videos. And that candidate is the exact same candidate that left Barcelona back in 2015 and won the treble during his exit. Yes, guys, you guys know exactly who we are going to be discussing and that is going to be Xavi Hernandez. Xavi Hernandez has been the name that has been talked about the most in the media, that has been talked about the most within this club because this is a move that does make sense. And so we are going to be discussing the latest updates, right? What is the latest regarding Xavi Hernandez and FC Barcelona? So it does say here that the negotiations, they have started between Xavi Hernandez and Barcelona. This is according to Fabrizio Romano. And he has also stated that Xavi Hernandez is currently the favorite to replace Ronald Koeman and no one else. And then we also do have another report coming from Helena Condis. She has stated that Xavi has to first close the agreement with the two teams before joining, which is going to be his departure away from Al Saad, the first one, and then the arrival at Barcelona, which is the second team. It is expected to be a very quick process. So many are going to be asking, okay, but how quickly is this all going to be happening? Could we expect it to happen about two months? Could we expect it to happen about two hours? Well, it does say here, according to Xavi Torres, that Xavi will not be arriving in Barcelona tomorrow. So yes, it's going to be quick, but it's not going to be tomorrow. But talks will continue with President Laporta. The feeling is that the arrival of a new coach isn't expected until after the game against Celta Vigo 
on the 6th, which will be in November. So there will be a temporary coach that will take over until then. So basically, that temporary coach, most likely Sergi Barjuan, who is the current Barcelona B coach, he is going to be taking over the first team and he will be the leader of the training sessions and maybe manage a couple of games, which will be against Alaves, which will be in this upcoming Saturday. It will be against Dinamo Kiev, which will be next week on Tuesday. And then he will manage his last game, which will be against Celta Vigo on the 6th. And then after that, that is when we should expect to see Xavi Hernandez finally come back to the Camp Nou and officially take over as the manager of FC Barcelona. And just for a reminder, this will be after the international break. Let me get that very clear. The international break is going to be for a total of two weeks. So after that match against Celta Vigo on November 6th, two weeks later, we're going to be playing our first game back from the international break. So Xavi Hernandez is going to be having about two weeks to prepare for his first game, which does make a lot of sense because he does need time in order to prepare. The second thing that I do want to point out is this. You can just get a sense, and it is true that Xavi is privileged at the moment, right? Because the fact that he can leave Al Sadr whenever he wants, that is something that has been talked about many times since like January 2019. We knew that Xavi does have that privilege to leave for only Barcelona. Now, his first contract with Al Sadr, he did have a clause, which was a Barcelona clause. He was allowed to leave whenever Barcelona do come calling, and that Al Sadr could not do anything about that. But then this contract that he did sign on May 2021, there was actually no clause regarding the Barcelona clause. But Al Sadr made it very clear that if Barcelona do come calling, like what we are seeing today, they have informed Xavi that he can leave whenever he wants and that they will not make it very difficult for him to make that transition. They do favor Xavi actually going to Barcelona because they know that it is in his dreams to be the manager. And so that is basically it. That is the latest on Xavi Hernandez. That is the latest on Ronald Koeman. And again, I want us to really like note this out. The fact that Koeman has been sacked immediately after the match and now that we are seeing that there is almost a full agreement between Xavi and Barcelona, you can just get a sense that all of this has been planned out, that John Laporta, Mateo Le Mans had all of this already set in place just in case Koeman does put a disaster class on the field, which we have seen today against Rayo Vallecano. So all of this was already planned out. They knew exactly who they were going to go for. They knew exactly what to do if Barcelona end up losing and drop another disaster class. Now here's going to be the other thing that I do want to discuss, right? Marcelo Gallardo, right? Who is the current coach for River Plate. I do not think that he will be coming to Barcelona at all. There hasn't been any reports. Right now, it is basically official that Xavi Hernandez will be Joan Laporta's first option and everything does indicate that it will go down in this way. Now, there has been other people saying that why would Xavi Hernandez come to Barcelona? Why can't it be Marcelo? Because Xavi is just too young. He's not ready. But this is the thing, right? I don't get why many do say that Xavi is not ready and he's too young when he has been at Barcelona before. He was the heart of the success. He was the heart of the Spanish national team, of the Barcelona team and their successes. He's the reason why these two teams, right, the Spanish national team between 2008 and 2012 and for Barcelona, why there was so much fluidity within these two teams. Like Xavi was the reason why they have succeeded so much. And so he knows exactly what it takes in order for a Barcelona club to be successful in a specific way, to have an identity. And also, right, to see Xavi with Al Sadd. Have you guys not noticed that Al Sadd, when every time they do play on the pitch, they have a way of playing. They have an identity. And that is what Barcelona need. They need a plan. They need a foundation. Because if you don't have a foundation, you're going to fall. And under Koeman, we have not seen that. And so this is why I do say that when I'm telling you that I want Xavi at Barcelona, I'm not saying that because I want Barcelona to be the most dominant team in football. Because I don't expect that. I really don't expect Barcelona to be the most dominant team and being able and capable to beat Man City 6-0 and Bayern Munich 7-0. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Barcelona have to take their first step. They just have to take the first step to build the foundation and build from there, then you will really have something because it's going to act like the snowball effect. The more it rolls, the quicker and bigger it does get. And also all of these narratives, right? All of these stories about Xavi not being able to bench Alba or Gerard Piquet or Busquets, all of these fake stories about Xavi saying that he's not going to be able to take this job seriously because he won't be benching his former teammates, his friends. Why would he do that? And we need someone that's serious. Like who said that Xavi was going to be having such a difficult time to bench these players? Like Barcelona is in a very delicate situation situation, do you not think that that is more serious than the friendship of Xavi Hernandez and Alba, Piquet, and Busquets? If anything, when we talk about Jordi Alba, Busquets, and Gerard Piquet, who are the captains of Barcelona, they're going to be giving Xavi Hernandez a lot of respect because they're going to know exactly what's best for this club. They're going to they're going to know exactly why they should be respecting Xavi because it is simply just part of the transition, the process. So I just do not see Xavi Hernandez being so emotional on trying to bench one of these players because it's not. It's just simply going to be the best for this club. Piquet, Busquets, Alba, Xavi, they're all going to agree.
three for one thing. But I'm glad, right? I am so happy. I am so happy to finally see that Barcelona is making this move. We have been waiting for this moment. And the moment it is official that Xavi Hernandez is the coach of Barcelona, we are going to be making so many videos regarding this coach and the club and how Barcelona can improve and how should we expect Barcelona to play moving forward with the likes of Ansu Fati, Gavi, Ricky Puj, Demir, Dembele, Meves Depay, Busquets, Nico Gonzalez, Serginho Dest, Minguesa, Araujo, Eric Garcia, all of the, just imagine all of these players under Xavi Hernandez. It's going to be amazing to see. We want to see this club succeed and the only way we could do that would be with Xavi Hernandez. And so as of now, again, it is going to be Sergi Barjuan who is going to be the temporary coach for this club and whatever new does happen regarding Barcelona's future, Xavi Hernandez's future, and just the way John Laporta is moving forward with this club, we are going to be talking about it here in this YouTube channel. That is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.